All right guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do another update video on the camper. It's starting to look like a camper now. So Mark is gonna be our video guy and follow us around here. Come on over here, Marcus, and show us the inside of here. What I've done is basically framed in the inside with some uh, one by fours all the way around all the doors or both doors, both windows. The gaps in between these are gonna get filled with styrofoam, just like you see on the, on the floor here. And then the side walls get a sheet of uh, quarter inch plywood. I'm gonna do half inch plywood on the floor uh, as a basically a subfloor before I finish it with something, either a rug or a piece of carpet or a piece of linoleum. Um, to the back, as Mark shows back here, what we can see is this is my rear storage area or what most people would refer to as the galley um, I'll show you this in a minute my door was not going to be I bought a prefabricated door which was not going to fill up this entire five foot height so I made a little cubby accessible from the cabin and I'm going to use one side of that cubby for my utilities where my power comes in and, and gets distributed and then the rest of this will be storage for, say, pillows, blankets, sleeping bags, um, whatever we choose. Go ahead, Mark, you can follow me around here. So if we come to the front of the trailer, and I'm calling this a trailer, remember, this is a camper pod that is being built to be able to be loaded on and off my utility trailer. So as you can see, I got the angle piece, my last video, this, this last piece of, of roofing wasn't on. So this is glued and screwed all the way around. I did cut the angles specific to match. This is a 108 degree angle here. So that was cut specifically to match. Mark's gonna show you the, the angle that we drew on here. Now we measured this with a, a protractor and made sure that uh, our math was all right. Everything worked really well. The seam there where it comes together also has a glued seam there and a 108 degree angle so that it matches. Everything came together really nice. So I wanna show you this. Mark, come around here. So since our last video, I went ahead and picked up the doors and the two side doors, the windows and the back access door. So I bought the biggest ones that were available, 30 wide by 36 tall. These are from Vintage Technologies. I'm gonna do a different video on this uh, to show you guys how they go in. But basically, this is what it's gonna look like for its mark left. Show you guys what they look like. Mark took off. Maybe come back. So the windows fit in here, the doors are going to fit in like this, and of course I'm not going to install these until the exterior finish is installed. Right now I'm still debating between aluminum siding, like camper siding, or a Raptor liner. I'm leaning towards the Raptor liner. I think it's kind of rugged and neat looking, but anyhow, that's what the two sides are going to look like. and then. Step back here and I'll show you this back access area. So I haven't built anything back here yet. But this opening here is as big as this door is gonna be. Now Vintage Technology sells a back door. I was going to build one that goes up on struts vertically, but they actually have this large rear door made for teardrop campers that fits right in. And it has its own gaskets. It has a lockable um, door handle with a deadbolt. And this thing swings out. It's fairly lightweight. Uh, it is, I believe, insulated, foam insulated, just like the side doors. So I elected to go this route because by the time I could purchase all of the trimmings, the hurricane hinge, the latches, the gas struts, and everything that I was gonna to have to have to build my own door, it was gonna cost as much as this, and I had to worry about if my design was gonna keep water out or not. So I'm pretty happy with this. It's just a 
shiny black aluminum finish here. So we're gonna put this thing on. But again, back to the, the back of here, I'm not putting in a sink or hot water or any of that stuff. This is gonna be mostly storage. So this is the top of my interior cubby that was in there, or the, the bottom of that cubby. I'm gonna put probably at least one, maybe two intermediate shelves on one side of this. And the other side to the right is gonna have a refrigerator. I'm probably gonna install a regular dorm refrigerator, just a 110 volt plug-in refrigerator. And uh, the rest of this will be used for storage of our camping gear, just things that we need, pots, pans, a little two burner stove that I, that I need to purchase. And uh, you know, pr pretty simple. So that's the camper update for now. Um, I will do, uh, obviously I'll do more videos when I finish coat this thing. I'll do another update video after I get the interior finished and I start moving on to the exterior. I do have to come in all of these holes that are in the plywood, this, these little imperfections. I'm gonna fill these in um, either way, whether I go aluminum or Raptor liner. But the Raptor liner, if I go that route, they say you should fill in all the cracks, all of everything, sand it down smooth and then coat it with something such as a exterior primer of some sort, like a paint primer. And then you can go ahead and wrap your line right over top of that. So that would be my intention if I go that route, which I'm leaning towards, but uh, haven't made that decision yet. I'm only two weeks or three weeks into this, two weeks, I think, and uh, probably in another two to three weeks, I'm gonna be done. So. Hopefully this project will only take me, you know, a month, a little over a month to complete. One last thing to mention, I do have lights and uh, electrical supplies and a uh, roof vent fan that are showing up. I purchased those online. Those are gonna show up this week. So the next video should have those uh, installed. You'll be able to see those. And I think that's it for now. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this content and share this stuff with your friends and we will see you on the next video.